<laughs> right, what do you think then? About what? The shoes. Go on, ask for new dress, eh? Yeah, great. Do you know it's like talking to yourself? I want to look right, you know, when I go to this dance with your dad. I want him to be proud of me. Ma'am, if you manage to get me dad to go to that dance with you, you can be proud of yourself. Oh, we're going all right. We've got tickets now. It means nothing, does it? Any arrangement depending on me dad, it's got to be dodgy, hasn't it? Dolly Parton's not right, you know. It's off her food, feathers are falling out. If you ask me, I think she's depressed. <laughs> depressed? A flaming pigeon? She's got feelings, you know. I think I might take her down to the vets tonight. Hey, what did I tell you just now? Hey, we're going to this dance tonight, you know. You can do what you like with them pigeons between now and then. But come seven o'clock, I want you stood there, wash, shave, best suit on and ready for out. You dead callous, you, you know. I've got a sick pigeon to worry about. Look, it's me you've got to worry about, look. I'm like them pigeons, you know. I've got feelings, so there's no arguments. You see how it is, Peter? You're going to have to spend some of that money you fiddled me and Curly out of, aren't you? are talking about fiddle. The more or less give you that car. You what? It costs us a fortune to get it back on the road again. And we've had to give Kevin Webster a third share in it. Doing a father's job, aren't you, son? Teaching you how to spend your money wisely. Hey, Terry, now you've got a car going again. I mean, you will be taking me and your dad to this dance, won't you? Hey? No, I can't, can I? I mean, it's not just my car, is it? It's Kevin and Curly's as well, you know. Well, they'll let you have it for an hour, won't they? No, uh, we've got some on tonight, haven't we? Me dad'll just have to get a taxi. Hey, don't you be spending my money for me. Well, that's it, isn't it? We're not going. Look, we are going to this dance, and we're going in style. And I'm not jumping on and off of buses, not in my new dress. So don't you think it. Hey, isn't that the car's roadworthy again? Where are we going tonight, lads? You fancy that disco up in Eccles? Somebody reckon you get a lot of student nurses up there. Uh, oh yeah, lads, uh, I might tell you, I've got this bloke lined up. You might want to buy the car. Who? Well, he's not from round here. He's a mate of one of the guys at work. It was up Oldham way. So I said I'd run the car up there and let him have a look at it. Well, OK, we'll do that, and then we'll go to the disco. Oh, give over, Curly. Supposing the bloke does want to buy it, we can't say, sorry, mate, we're off to a disco in Eccles, can we? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Terry, I wasn't thinking... I mean, if he does want to buy it, we'll just all have to get the bus back. Sounds an exciting evening. Yeah, look, lads, there's no need for you two to come. I don't mind seeing to this myself. I mean, you two might as well enjoy yourselves. No point in all three of us traipsing up to Oldham, is it? No, it's not, is it? Well, if you're sure, Terry. No, it's all right. But I tell you what, if you do want to help a bit, you could give the car a good clean and wash this afternoon. Yeah, OK. If it's nice and clean, it could make all the difference tonight. That's just what I was thinking. Hey, don't go below 800. Hey? For the car. Oh, yeah. Well, 775 anyway, if you have to, but no more. Lads, leave it with me. You know I'll do my best. Anyway, I've got a lot to do, so see you later. See ya. You reckon he'll manage it? He might. He can be very persuasive when he wants, Teddy. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, Terry. My dress is finished. Great. Can't wait to try it on. Excuse me, love. Oh, yeah. Hi. Uh, are we still okay for tonight, then? Yeah, I suppose so. Listen, do you really want to go and see this play, uh, what were it, uh... Oedipus Rex. Yes, I do want to see it. Okay, okay. If that's what you want, that's what we'll do. I'll have my motor back today, so uh, we'll have no transport problems, right? We need to be there by 7.30. Okay, I'll uh, pick up about half six. Is that okay? Okay. Oh, listen, uh, do you mind meeting me around the corner in Rosamond Street? What for? Well, it's a bit complicated, but it's to do with my car, you know. Hello, hello, hello. You don't want to waste your time talking to my big daft lad. How I can do for you? No, I just brought Mrs Duckworth dress round. I better be off. <laughs> Bye. Uh, Rosamond Street, I'll see. Yeah? OK. Great. You won't be told, will you? I can see how this is going to end up. Her father threatening me because you've ruined his daughter. What are you on about, eh? You can do terrible injuries with a broken milk bottle, lad. That oh, is what I'm on about. A pretty girl is like a melody. How about that, then? Yeah, it's not going on. Hey, where's my shoes? Oh, that's better, in it? What do you reckon, Jack? How do I look? You look very nice, love. To me. What do you mean, to you? Well, I, I'm just saying, you, you look, you look all right. It looks very nice from the back. But not the front, eh? No, no, I, I just keep telling you, it, it, it looks all right, love. Looks... Yeah. Nice one, ma'am, yeah. Makes me look fat, doesn't it? Makes me look old and fat. Oh, oh, come on, Vera. Vera. It's a frock, love. It's not a magic wand. I've gone right off it now. I wish I'd never had it made. Marvellous, flipping marvellous. Does this mean we don't have to go out tonight? Hey, 
Hey, it's better in set. What do you reckon now, sir? Mum, you look great. Knock out. Ah, oh, you're a good lad. Here, make sure that my dad gives you a good time tonight. He's rolling in it. All that money he got off me and Curly for that old wreck of his. Mm. She's no better now, Dolly. By rights, I should be with her tonight, you know. Oh, shut up about your flaming pigeon. She's an homing bird. I happen to be a going out bird. Well, Jack, what do you reckon to dress? Look, I told you before, fine. It's different. It's better, isn't it? Right, I'm off. Have a good time, won't you? Hey, hang on. Is that you I can smell? God blimey, that aftershave you put on, it's got a niff on it like a fan dancer's watch strap. So, uh, where are you off then? Out. See ya. All this burden is gonna cripple your health, you know. Do you, do you fancy running me and your mum? No please? chance. I'm late now. Spend a couple of quid on a taxi. You can afford it. Hey, Sir Arlo. See ya. Hey, enjoy yourself. Will do. Hey, Jack, I do look all right, don't I? You look great. Terrific. Yeah. Now listen, I'm not being funny now, but it beats me why people want to pay good money to see that Oedipus stuff. You really hated it, didn't you? Well, you can't say it was entertaining, can you, eh? Some plays aren't supposed to be just entertaining. They're meant to make you think. You know, have a moral. Oh, yeah. So what was the moral of that, then? Don't marry a bird old enough to be a man. I oh, suppose so. <laughs> well, look, I don't need to go see a boring play to learn that now, do I? Any road, any fella that marries a bird old enough to be his man deserves all he gets. <laughs> Look at you on the car, I'll stink of vinegar. It's all right, I'll get Curly to clean it tomorrow. Clean it this afternoon. He thought I were out trying to sell this tonight. He didn't. He did. I'll tell you, him and that Kevin, they're dead innocent. Hello. Oh. Good though, innit? <clears throat> I'm not putting mine in the back, there's a bin over there. Where's the other one? I'll do it. You satisfied now? Hello, Terry. Hiya. Oh, hello. Hello. Hiya. Who is that Norman you've got with you? Uh, Norman. well, uh, here. Oh, <laughs> hello. 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 Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, uh, throw nice Terry. See you. Yeah, see Bye. you. <laughs> that was only Curly's landlady, wasn't it? She's bound to say something. Well, you've lost your car washer then. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> Fancy a salty kiss? No. <laughs> It's George and Mildred's 25th wedding anniversary, and George has remembered. How romantic. But that's not all. Keep it on plus for comedy after the break.